Hi everyone, Abir here. In today's video, I will show you the process of setting up Google Ads conversion tracking for your Shopify store using Google Tag Manager. Specifically, we are going to focus on tracking purchase conversions. So you can measure the exact sales from your campaigns and optimize them to improve your ad performance. So without further ado, let's dive in and get started. First, we need to create the conversion action in Google Ads that will track your purchase events. First, make sure you are logged into your Google Ads account. On the left side menu, click on Goals and select the Summary. In the Summary section, click on the Create Conversion Action button. Then enter here your website URL, select Scan. Then select Skip and Letter. We will do this by using Google Tag Manager. Then select Save and Continue. Choose Purchase as the conversion category. This is the type of action we want to track when someone completes a purchase. Select Add Conversion Action, click to your website, enter here any conversion name. Then select Use Event. Once you have created a manual event, click on Save and continue to proceed. In this step, Google Ads will generate a unique conversion ID and conversion label, which we will use later in the setup with Google Tag Manager. Now that we have created the Google Ads conversion action, the next step is to create a Google Tag Manager account and link it to your Shopify store with the data layer. Google Tag Manager helps you manage and deploy marketing tags on your website without needing to modify the code directly. Let's walk through the process. Go to tagmanager.google.com, create an account to set up a new GTM account for your store. Enter your business or store name, choose your country from the drop down. Enter your Shopify store name or website name or business name again. Choose web as you are using it for a website. After filling out this information, click create. Google Tag Manager will ask you to preview and accept the terms of service. Once you are agree, click yes to proceed. Once your account and container are created, Google Tag Manager will provide you with a container code that you will need to replace with the data layer code. Now that we have set up the Google Tag Manager and created a conversion action in Google Ads, the next step is to add the GTM container code to the Shopify data layer for tracking conversions such as purchase. First, you need to replace the GTM container code in the data layer code. After replacing the GTM container code, copy the entire data layer code. Next, log into your Shopify admin. In the Shopify admin panel, Click on Settings. Navigate to Customer Events under the Notification section. Click on Add Custom Pixels. A window will appear asking for a pixel name. Enter a name that reflects the event like Purchase Pixel or anything relevant to the event you are tracking. Then select Add Pixels. Paste the data layer code you copied earlier into the code section of the Custom Pixel setup. After pasting the code, click on Save and Connect. Once you have saved the pixel and connected, the data layer will be enabled and your Google Tag Manager will be able to capture conversion data. Now that we have set up the Google Tag Manager container code and the data layer for Shopify store, it's time to configure the Google Ads conversion tracking tag. We need to create several variables in Google Tag Manager to capture key details such as the purchase value, currency, transaction ID and user parameters for enhanced conversions. Now that we have to our variable setup, go to the variables. Now preview your website using the Google Tag Manager preview. Enter here your website URL then select connect. Now I am going to uh, make a test purchase. I have complete made a test purchase and our purchase is completed and on the console section and I am getting the product information, the purchase information and you know the Shopify customer pixel checkout page is duplicated that's why the purchase event is not showing on the google tag manager preview section that's why we have to check the purchase information from the console section now let's create the variables the first variables will be the currency And the next second one variable will be the value then another variable will be the transaction id now 
Now we need to create the user parameters or the user variables for Google Ads Enhanced Conversion. Here is the user parameters. The first one will be the customer email. The second one is the user phone. You can copy from here. Now I want to send more two parameters with the Google Ads conversion. The new customer, lifetime is the recommended. If you can send with these two parameters also, that will be better for you. Our required parameters is created done for Google Ads enhanced conversion. Now we need to create a more variable configuration. Select the user provided data and select the email. Then select phone, the user first name, user last name. I added the required parameters to user provided data variable then select the save. You can enter here any custom name. Now that we have our variable set up, we can create the Google Ads conversion tracking tag in Google Tag Manager. Go to the tag section in Google Tag Manager. 
click on new to create a new tag choose tag configuration and select google ads conversion tracking in the conversion id field paste the conversion id you receive from google ads in the conversion level field paste the google conversion label from the google ads then here is a no google tag found in the container then create that create a tag and it's okay just select the save for conversion value select the variable you created for value for transaction id select the variable you created for transaction already and the currency code then select here the provide new customer data edit here the new customer edit also the customer lifetime value in the google ads conversion tracking tag configuration find the section level use provided data from your website include user provided data from your website check the box for include user provided data from your website variable this will allow the tag to send user parameters like email or phone number for enhanced conversion or other parameters after configuring the tag click on triggering to choose when the tag should be fired after setting up the tag and the trigger click save enter here any name with these steps your google ads conversion tracking is now set up using google tag manager you will now be able to track conversion accurately including sales amounts transaction ids and user parameters for enhanced conversion now let's select the submit and enter here the version name then select publish now coming here to google ads conversion select the finish uh, you can see here is the tag is showing the inactive right now let's test is our tag is properly working or not then select the preview the tag assistant is connected to my website now if i want to make a test purchase the order is completed now go to the tag assistant preview with the google ads conversion action the tag is showing the inactive and showing the unverified because uh, it will takes time which usually takes up to three hours also we can uh, verify the tag a different way you need a ec assistant the chrome extension is coming from the google select the tag and the assistant chrome extension enter your, your website select the add monitoring then pages reload now let's uh, make a purchase the purchase is completed and you can see here is the our google ads conversion id uh, the user uh, data sent with this conversion email is observed that's mean email is received and there is no phone number because uh, to this my store there is no phone number field okay that's mean uh, the tag is working properly that's it thanks for watching this video if you need help setting up google ads conversion tracking or managing your campaigns to grow your business i would love to assist you feel free to book a call with me using the link in the video description box or send me an email my contact details are also below let's work together to take your business to the next level